Hello everybody, welcome back to more Astronarch. I can't wait to get back into it already. What do we want to do here today? We have used every unit except... Uh, have we used the Berserker? I don't think we've used the Berserker yet. Your attacks and active ability strikes heal you for 2% max HP, increase your attack by 1%. I mean, seems like a good call to start. Maybe we get uh, we can make a tanky unit out of that. Not a very high amount of HP, but he does heal for a percentage of max HP. That's kind of just an innate ability that he is going to have. He's got a uh, medium amount of armor. I don't know. He's not quite a full tank here. I think that maybe we want to run... Uh, like two quasi tanks or maybe we could even go with the cleric to run with it there deal 50% attack damage to a random enemy when you heal a hero by any means or and then the active is heal the weakest adjacent hero any okay so adjacent is anyone in the same four tile grouping great we finally have read that there heal the weakest adjacent hero for 10% max HP and remove a random negative effect let's go with uh, let's go with that for now so anything in the adjacent four. So that leaves us with one slot here to, let's see, uh, maybe we run the Ronin? Again, yeah. Let's do, let's, let's run the Ronin. Let's, <laughs> every time. We'll run the Ronin. Let's make haste. All right. Increase the max HP of the party by 10%. Increase the defense by 15%. Attack. Or reduce the cost of their active abilities. Uh, that's such a tough choice. Such a tough choice. I feel like defense might be a better call here. And then we'll, like, since the... Does the HP buff come in after or before items? That's probably the uh, the big ol' Q of the D, the question of the day, indeed, indeed. So is there anywhere... Okay, bypassing their defenses and slowing any attempts to heal their wounds. So we'll probably want to stay away from the forest, largely. Uh, we'll use targets on mana against them. Strongest in health and speed. I feel like we can actually probably get away with getting a lot of uh, work done here in the old caves. Look at you. Your attack, reduce your target's defense by 4 and speed by 2%. Ingest, active, steal 50 max HP from your target for each bite you've taken. Uh, so, the Ronin does more damage, but the Berserker can uh, can heal himself. Let's just, let's do this and just see how it goes for now. So you do an attack, how much, let, let's see what this really looks like. It's not great, but we do have our cleric to heal ourselves. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're definitely going to need to uh, invest in some good old-fashioned tankiness there. First time you're reduced below 35% max HP, direct one random enemy targeting you to their next target. You know what? If we are running a tank, like a two half tank kind of a build, that actually seems really good for us. So have him be the main target, then we'll switch over to the next target, and then we will heal ourselves back up using the cleric and the berserker. This seems like a good enough idea to me. <laughs> He's so flat. I love him. He's so flat. I love him. Uh, your attacks burn your target and all adjacent enemies for 25% attack damage. So, let's get you the hell over here. Attackers now receive a burn for 25% attack damage over 10 seconds. Okay, damage increases with each use. Should be fine. Yeah, sure. What did the Ronin do again? I, I can't even remember. Well, we'll look after this here. Okay, so as soon as he gets below 35, he'll be swapping his target over here. Well, we, okay, well, we would have started to heal up there at that point. Uh, your attacks deal additional damage equal to 30% of your defense. So I feel like the Berserker kind of wants speed. Sure. We'll do that. Why not? Why not? And we'll, we'll head up here for the event. We may run into a, a forest-dwelling enemy here. 
Uh, receive an upgraded item. All enemy, all heroes bleed uncontrollably in next combat. Receive an upgraded item. All heroes have their healing reduced. You know what? Let's bleed uncontrollably. Why not? Reduce the cost of your active ability by six each time it's used. Deal 100% attack damage to target two times. Activating your passive ability with each strike. Apply Ruin, which reduces their healing effects. Uh, for each time the target to the heal the adjacent hero. I feel like, um... Let's pop that bad boy on our healer so we can get more healing done. So the Ronin did a little bit more damage than the Berserker. Not much. Berserker took, obviously, like a lot more of the damage and healed up a lot more as well. We'll head to the next event. The, the thing is, doing combat successfully gives us the situation where we gain morale. So you want to do fights. What is viscous? What is viscous goo? Attackers have a 10% chance to be disarmed. Okay, so they do poison and they disarm. So you can only heal adjacent heroes. The thing is, if I do this... Yeah, they're both attacking you. Which I guess is fine. We're probably a little screwed. I think we're going to want to put our finger over this here, uh, this here health potion. Because we are bleeding uncontrollably. As mentioned. Okay, let's pop that. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, oh, no, yep. It's the pits, man. I kind of figured. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. We only got... Oh, but we only get it on victory, of course. What was I thinking? Well, the good news is we're no longer bleeding uncontrollably. Burn your target and all adjacent enemies. Uh, attackers, reduce your active ability cost by 3 MP. We can do this so that you are not... Uh, you take the burnt one, but then you can't get healed. What is this here? Attackers reduce your active ability cost by 3 MP. Passive ability once defeated. It's a little sketchy for sure. It's a little sketchy for sure. Damage increases with each use. So he, he ramps up. But it, he ramps up way more if he has a lot of people attacking him. Do we just put everybody up here even though we are going to get burned for that attack damage? Uh, let's just do it. So he's going to switch his target to the Cleric, though, when I get under 35%. That's actually the uh, the big issue for sure there. Okay. This is this Putting you against him down there on the bottom actually turned out to be really, really good. And we may just perfectly do it. Oh my god, not even close. <laughs> uh, for every 50 MP you spend, heal the weakest hero for 100 HP over 10 seconds. That's super tempting. Uh, 50 HP, 10 defense. So the start of combat, gain and negate. Also super tempting. First time you're reduced below 35% max HP, gain a shield equal to 10% of your max HP and heal for the same amount over 10 seconds. Um, you know, I kind of dig that, but also this though, every 50 MP you spend, you're, hmm, this is the real question, what do I want, let's get the brain surge, we'll go for it. And, uh, you know, we'll see. Oh, God, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Is there anything about adjacent target? Poison your target and an adjacent enemy for 50% attack damage every three seconds. Reduce the speed of the enemy's hit by 30% for five seconds. So... Who? It, the, the, the issue 
that is continually arising is that we need these people in the same quadrant for you to be effective with your heal. But unfortunately, that also opens us up to situations like this. Tar poison your target and unadjacent enemy. So, uh, you know what? Let's just put everybody in the same quadrant at this point. Uh, swap it so it's like this, and then the, the attack will then switch to the Ronin. I don't know that this is... I, I, I don't expect this to go well. I, I, in fact, I expect this to go quite poorly. But we'll, we'll see. This poison is definitely going to be uh, the rough thing for sure. Uh, if he can stay alive, which... It looks like he will. We, I think we're actually going to be fine because he's going to switch targets when he's... Yep, Ascension Cloak. He's going to switch to the Ronin. We should get to the point where we get to use our heal again. Yes! Oh my god, it was so freaking close. Uh, Okay. Attackers have a 25% chance to grant you a minor blessing. Deal 10 piercing damage to attackers. Or at the start of combat, gain 30 frail defense. And 75 HP. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Let's get that for now. A active ability. That is the wild strikes. I think we gotta... I think we have to go with that heal, right? Like, let's be a good boy. Let's be a good boy here. Gain an ability orb. All heroes lose four attack. A random ability is upgraded. Lose 10 morale. What is our next fight? Is it an, Could it be an elite? New. No. 10 morale. I hate that, but you know what? There we go. We'll get that healing back there, and then we will go up to the shop where we have 112 bucks. What does the upgrade of this look like? Well, okay, first, we gotta do this. Starting MP, your active ability increases your speed by 10%. Oh, wow. That's, that's really interesting, though. 10 attack and your attacks increase your speed by 4%. Oh, it's tough. It's tough stuff. I'm doing it. We've not been up in our Ronin's game at all. I feel like we could definitely uh, attacks increase your. You know what? Actually, that seems really good for somebody who we uh, want to be a kind of like a secondary tank. He's also got like really fast attacks. I, I once again, I still assume I assume speed is attack speed because I. Don't really know what else it would be at this point, so I'm hoping. Uh, duplicate Champion's Guard. What's that? Oh, it's the sword. To lose Brain Sage. Duplicate Symbiote Plus. To lose the Whirlwind Axe. Oh, that's so tempting because it's an upgraded one. Does speed matter to us? Because we could duplicate the symbiote, put it on there. Uh, oh, boy. This is... Starry Songbird. This is really tough. So, it, if speed affected the rate in which we generated mana as well, then that would be huge. But I don't think that that is necessarily the case. Okay, deal damage to your target and any adjacent enemies. Bonus damage for each time that's hit the enemy. 
get that over there. All right. We don't have money, so why would we, uh, why would we, you know, bother? Per se? Hello, lizard crew. A family outing. Let's see. Anything to do in a random adjacent singular enemy? So there's, I mean, I feel like there's no point to. Once defeated, all allies gain 15 attack. Yikes. Enemy active ability costs are increased by 5 MP every 3 seconds. That's pretty annoying. Allies gain negate and heal over 25% max HP. I mean, there's not much we can do here aside from swapping the ordering there. You know what? What if we... if whoop. If we dropped this up here, we could maybe split it a little bit more. I think that'd be good to have one of you targeting there and then three of you targeting there. It, it's yeah, blah, 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 blah. it's super sketchy. Super sketchy, but these guys are really small, so maybe that'll help us out here. Really banking on this heal, like really, 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 really popping off. Come on. No. This is bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well, this is help. This is help. Oh, no. Attackers have a chance to grant you a minor blessing. Absolutely. We need more health here because we heal based off of a percentage. Boy, I wanted to go and do the elite battle, but I'm not so sure it's smart anymore. I'm really not so sure it's smart. Let's do it anyways, you know. Okay, so it's nothing to do with um, adjacents. Right? It's true. Okay. This should work way better. All of the damage being on one singular unit should be really, really, really good for us. And it potentially... Yes, this... You know what? This is this is perfect. I don't know why you're taking damage. Do you attack everybody? Piercing damage to all enemies. Yes. Ah, that's right. Oh my god, though. Look at this healing. Oh my god. That is huge. Pristine achievement. Defeat a boss with all heroes at full HP. That cleric, if that cleric gets time to ramp up to the max there. That is amazing. Uh, Brain Sage, I almost think. I think we swap that. I genuinely do. 10% speed, to start a combat gain, attack. Your attacks cause your target to bleed. Uh, your attacks have a 10% chance to apply bleed. By the way, any people like, <laughs> what? First of all, it's hilarious to backseat this game. Uh, all right, like right now at this point, I know for a fact that you guys don't know a ton about this game uh, yet. But the second thing, so people said one thing. They they, they said, why would you put like um, burning on a unit that already had like 100% chance to burn? All of that stuff stacks. You can have multiple stacks of the same thing. So don't. It it, it it's not redundant. Like, if I put bleed on this guy, it's not redundant. It also does the damage. It's just two two separate stacks of bleed. If I if I hover over it, it goes bleed from blank sources, like blank amount of sources. It can it can you can have like a hundred stacks of bleed, you know? Uh at least as far as I'm aware, like from what what I've been told in game in the past. 10% chance to apply bleed over 10 seconds to disarm the targets. I'm tempted to go for this with the speed here. Ah, uh, the ability orb. I mean, probably makes sense to put it on the uh, the guy whose ability is going to be used like crazy. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. shoot. All right. Well. Hopefully, okay, so we switch targets. That's good. Hopefully, we can get up to the point where we start ramping up 
the fact that our man our mana cost is increasing over time here is actually really really uh, really really rough for us. He's getting really buffed up this guy because uh the fact that they just get stronger as the other units become deceased. Healing received is increased by 15%. That is probably going to be a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. It's a big HP up, so. 30 frail defense. I guess we'll go with that for now. We have 64 bucks. Attacks have a 15% chance to stun your target. That's a big penalty to speed there. Uh, wait. Yeah, stun bar, 10% speed, your chance, your attacks have a 20% chance to stun your target uh, for 0.5 seconds. So that's a much bigger stun, but it penalizes your attack speed, of course. Uh, stun barb sounds really nice. But who to put it on? I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it because we're going to get another unit. And it seems really useful. Seems really useful. All right, let's go on in. Who are we going to be fighting? Do we do we know what this boss is? Have we fought them before? Is this all right? Because we could make everybody attack the Berserker instead. Let's, you know what? Let's just do it. All right, here it comes. Let's see it stack, see it stack. Oh, we're doing just fine, dude. We're doing just fine. Do not go under 35 yet, though. Please, not yet. Not yet. All right, we're under 35. That's all right. Actually, we're taking a pretty big poison over time here, and you should have... Yeah, you stacked up to 61 defense by the end of that there. So that's awesome. Defense and speed. 10 defense, steal 1 MP from attackers. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting for you. Hmm. If we get one more thing, we have a full set of stuff down here. It's more speed? I'm going to get the more speed because it's another extra 10% in theory would mean we attack really, really fast. I think we maybe try and find... I don't know if we rock the assassin... We'll, we'll have to have a look at the uh, the passives and what kind of on-hit effects we can generate. We have definitely not fought this guy. Your attacks apply ruin... Oh, no. Ruin to your target and bleed for 20% attack damage. That's not good. We do not ruin... This, is, this, uh, this destroys us. The good news is I think that it's... Even if we get wrecked quite a bit, we still get to move on to the next zone. I could be wrong. Uh, oh, boy. Ignoring defense and shields. That is very rough. Uh, feast, uh, deal 10% piercing attack damage for every bleed effect on the target. Consume the positive effect, healing for 15% max HP. Uh, the good news, at the very least, is that we do have the ability to uh, apply ruin to him as well. If this guy lives, but... It's a big ol' if. Mm. Unstunnable. The defense will still protect us against his base attacks, so... We should be fine. Yeah, that, that passive. We, we're hard countered by this, but we might possibly be strong enough to beat it anyways. Especially because it's if it gets a if it goes on for a long time, we are about to. It's gonna get expunged off of us. 
However, the longer the fight goes on, the quicker we uh, get to cast our healing spell here. And if he gets down below 35% here, he's going to switch his target to the Ronin. This is actually, look at this. Look at this. We're out healing him. We're out healing him. Look at that. Oh, man. And all the while, the Ronin is just getting more and more defense anyways. Wow. We, uh, we destroyed that. The start of combat and every five seconds, gain shield equals 150% of your defense. Begins to drain after two seconds. Cannot exceed your max HP in size. I did not know that. Attacks apply leech. Leech attackers are healed for 10% of the attack and active ability damage they deal to you. Oh. Start of combat and when you use your active ability, gain a shield equal to 150% of your attack. That seems good for the Ronin, potentially. We're going to get another unit here to put a lot of this stuff on. What do we want? Like, in theory, like a fast attacking support unit. Support unit. That's a, that's a fast attacking unit. Your attacks burn your targets. Uh, you and all your hero adjacent heroes gain shield equal to your defense. I don't hate the idea of that. Uh, the Wild Mage actually might be a good call. Well, no. Oh! The Frostmancer is almost certainly going to be the answer. Ab absolutely. You know what? That's That's totally it. That's that's it right there. Fast attacking support in the sense that the frost is going to uh, make them weaker. 10% go more gold from all sources. Healing received by all heroes is increased by 20%. Sounds like a very good call here. Okay, so fast attacking. We've got that fast attacking stun. Uh, You know, this we might as well put on you. Sure. Okay, five defense and speed, sure. Let's upgrade that passive. Your active is already up at the max there. Uh, what is your active ability? Frostbite deal 100% attack damage to all enemies, deal an additional 25% attack damage and stun for every stack of frost. So yeah, you attacking a lot is going to be extra good. Wait, so hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like golf. Lower speed is better. I see. Because it's that many attacks per second? I'm guessing. Okay, deal initial attack damage. Okay, that increases the damage. I'm not going to say that that's... Bad. Certainly not bad. Apply Ruin to... Oh! Three times with each target. Apply Ruin to your target and adjacent enemies. So we do an extra attack, which means we'll heal slightly more, and we'll also apply it to the adjacent enemy. That seems like a... Uh, a really, really good... Uh-oh. A really, really good switch up. I, I, I want to make it clear right now. I have it on good authority. The uh, copyright music situation is going to be uh, fixed within a couple days. I have been uh, I have been informed and assured, so we should be good there. We should be good there. Uh, do you do adjacent stuff? You do not. Ruin to all enemies. I mean, you know, tis what tis. I'm super excited to see how the uh, the frost wizard here puts some stuff into effect. What is this, by the way? Gain attack. All right. Okay. Big heal. Good. Okay, this is sketchy because of, yeah, that that ruin. Ay! Oh, that was too close for me. That ruin does ruin us. Bonus starting MP, immunity to silence, your tanks poison your target, or a tanks increase your speed. Uh, 
So Frost stacks up to five times. Ten percent speed. Every attack increases by two percent. Yeah, you're a stun bot for now. I mean, we'll just keep going in the sewers for now. Hmm. What does you do? What does you do? Attackers have a 25% chance to be stunned, of course. Steal your damage to your target. Apply ruin. Yeah. Understandable. We're going to get ruined upon, but... You know, what are we going to do? Switch, which switch to a non-tank anyways? We could switch all of the items onto the Ronin and have them literally just switch jobs. Boy, I would like to have this. Okay. That was that was pre ruin. Yep. That was pre ruin. Oh, how many stacks of frostbite? Three stacks. Okay. I mean that's that's putting in work. This uh the cleric cleric going uh all in on doing wild. Oop. Ouch. Healing every two seconds is so nice. Uh, attack, steal, damage equal to your part of your missing HP. I'm not going to say it's bad, but it's not. I don't think it's what we need. Immunity to silence, frost, and active ability cost increases. Seems important. That, that seems important. It, it makes it so this uh, that strat can't be countered. And it also starts us... Uh, yeah, this this whole path right here is, uh, is ruin. So... Oh, no. It's, it's, it's all bad. It's all bad. I think we just go for it. If we lose one guy, we lose one guy. We got, got to do what we got to do. Okay, here comes. Come on, the heal. Oh, it's not, it's not great. But we only have one target left now. He attacked the back line. Change your target to another. Yeah, I mean, there was nothing we could do. Change your target to another random enemy. Uh, as soon as he got targeted, we got, we get bopped. My, uh, minus 10 ability costs right off the bat and a 30 starting MP. 10 attack and immunity to disarm. Hmm. I mean, if we had immunity to... <sighs> huh. Well, but we don't need to... We don't need higher starting MP because we don't need to heal right away. That just doesn't matter for us. <laughs> I think I take, I'm taking the money. We also got a mana bomb. A enemies lose 50 MP. All enemies burn. Okay, well, this is... There could be an enemy here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All enemies lose speed. Deal damage to your target and any adjacent enemies. Heal the weakest ally. Remove random effect. Deal 50% additional damage to enemies without... So this is very much a... Um, we need to split the party into exactly two, which... I don't like. I sure as hell do not like. Okay. But if we're splitting the effects into two just not okay this is actually this is good all right we got him dead that's really what we needed to do that was the big old thing right there who'd you even heal did you heal your okay well actually that worked out great 
the start of combat, gain 150 shield. Chance to deal additional 300% piercing. I mean, it seems good. You target enemies in the back row first. Your attacks deal 10% piercing damage. This is very much something that we should have and put on our backline bar. Let's just do that real quick. As we move our way up here. Unfortunately, until it gets fixed very soon. Uh, okay, so it's the odd couple. Apply a minor curse to all enemies every three seconds. It's annoying. Uh, deal damage to a random enemy. Okay, so we can... We can all be in the same row, and it's just not really gonna... Not really gonna matter. Okay. Burn for 300 damage. All heroes heal for 400 HP over 10 seconds. You know, I I've probably should have looked into... Into that. Oh, we got bopped anyway. Okay, it's all right. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. We're down to we're down to one. We should be okay, because we are now in cleric infinite infinite cast town. That is so good. Uh. What was the thing it was like every time you cast we had? Oh, every time you, and whenever you use your active ability. I mean, like, I would love to have that on there, too. 150, so that's, he would gain, he would gain 60 shield every attack, but we would not gain any other stats there. Uh, your attacks reduce your target's defense. When your target is defeated, gain 10 attack, 10% speed for 4 seconds. Your attacks deal an additional 30% attack damage to a random enemy. I want to say that that might actually give us the ability to freeze multiple enemies. I could be wrong. I'm going to do it and look into it. Alright, so we have the ability to potentially upgrade something. Increase your defense by three for every active stack of frost is another very tempting thing we could get. Because uh, we should get quite a bit. There's the leech thing. Again, I do want that. Ten defense. Uh, Yeah, like, I, I mean, I'd like to have brain sage on somebody else. I feel like we could... Probably ditch that item. Do we have we have the ability to get this and upgrade something? So what do we have? Uh, Retirect two random enemies targeting you to their next target. I don't know. I, it might be a good idea too. 150 HP, 60 frail defense. So 60 frail defense. That's huge actually. But you know what? The holy charm is probably going to be the right way to go there. But a 20% speed increase and a 40% chance to stun your targets is actually kind of huge. I'm going to do that. I believe, believe it or not, I'm doing that. It's a common looking item, but you know what? I don't care. Merchant will pay you handsomely. Okay, so what's up with this? Can't perform... Gain 100 frail attack. Can't perform attacks. What? Mug. Wait, gain hidden. Gain 100 frail attack. Can't perform attacks. So it's all based off of the active ability. 300% attack damage. And steal from a random positive target. So even if we have the backline attacking ability, it doesn't matter. Because they're going to be hidden. So we pretty much just need to burn you down. All enemies are poisoned for 20% attack damage at the start of combat. Passive ability. Uh, deal 150%. You know what? If we do the burn, I wonder if that will... Attackers. So it's not an attacker. 50 shield and defense. Ignoring defense and shields. Steal a random positive effect from your target. I mean, maybe you can shield. It might be able to steal my shields. I, I'm gonna do this and nuke that uh that ability back there. I think that that might be good for us because this is gonna get sketchy. 
Okay. All right. This is definitely, definitely sketchy, but it should be easier now. As soon as we actually get to target them, it should be no problemo. God, that's so good. Uh, increase your max HP by 10 per second does not increase your current HP. I think that that is um, certainly a great item for us to have on this guy. Um, or... Huh. I would love to have another Champion's Guard over there also, though. Man, if there was some upgrade you could get to just, like, yeah, just full-on uh, add a fourth slot, it would be a busted strong upgrade. It really would. Um, so we can probably sell some stuff, I think. I'm going to sell this. I don't think I want to sell that. I'm going to sell that. I want to get ourselves up to one more upgrade, so what else can we sell? Um, I think... Shoot. I think we can sell this. All right, what else to upgrade? What else to upgrade? All right, this is, <laughs> this is tough. I mean, I really like this combo strat. It, it just, of the percentage max HP and high flat HP, I feel like it seems really, really strong. Frail defense. I mean, we could put the frail defense on you. Once again, if we just could have something else there instead. If we could have that brain sage on somebody else. Just on somebody else. Okay, so what's going on here? Deal 100% attack damage to all enemies. Apply ruin to frost. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where they are. It's just going to happen. Uh, deal 50% of damage to targets without adjacent. Doesn't matter. Um. We could make it so you attack the back line. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to see if... So who are you targeting? If anybody else gains frost... Uh-oh. 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 Those stuns were important, but I don't know if they're going to do anything and for us. Oh, here comes the healing Gatling gun. The heal Gatling gun. When you're knocked out, you continue fighting for four seconds. Enemies will ignore you. Can only activate once per combat. You know who that would be really good on is our cleric. That's like straight up some... Uh, God, I can't remember been too long is that discipline priest i think that's or that might i can't remember if it's discipline or holy priest in uh in wow that has that uh guardian angel ability afterwards but four seconds of ignoring but being able to uh like full cast to heal everybody else there's something really 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 interesting about that Something really, really interesting about that. I mean, there's we have no other choice but to do this combat here. It's the Grave Digger. Uh, nothing we can do. Enemy who is dealt the most damage takes 200% attack damage and is stunned. Uh, so it's probably going to be the Ronin, which actually works really, really well for us. I enjoy that about us. If that's the case, uh, piercing damage, frail defense. In a longer fight, I think this could work pretty well for us. All right. I, I mean, that has no value, so we might as well... Target enemies in the back row, frail defense. I mean, it it has value. It's the actual attack damage. All right, we have the chance to do the piercing damage. See, I would imagine that that has to be a different random unit. Okay. All right, just just live for a bit, man. The Frostmancer's doing the most damage. Oh, no, that is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. 
Come on, Ronin. Ronin, start doing some work. Berserker did the most. That, that's ideal. Weird, but ideal. Frostmaster's stunned the most now. We are totally fine here. Yeah, because we're, we're in Gatling Gun Priest territory. Holy moly. Cleric. Heal 2% max HP every 2 seconds. I mean, it does, it's, it's good. I, I like it a lot. Or we gain 20 gold. Uh, we are, we're getting an ability orb. I, I'm going to say, nah, we, we've done that a lot. Let's... What's the ability orb? And two adjacent enemies. Um, feel additional 50%. Additional 50% and stun for 0.5 seconds. Um, you know, it, it doubles the damage. But do I cower? Do I cower? Uh, up to four times... I wish we could upgrade you even more. Let's hear it. Let's head down here so we can turn on our music again. Just put it like. Uh, gain 100 gold to lose Neb's Crystal Weaver. Oh, but it sounds so fun. I mean, if it was, like, a really long fight, we could do that, and I think that would be really, really, really good. <laughs> That'd be, like, crazy good, but... I think we take the 100 gold with a cry, with a little bit of a tear streaming down my face, and I didn't want to do it, but I kind of did. Uh, when you heal a hero by any means, a random damage hero is additionally healed for 30% of the value. Oh, mama. Oh, shoot. So this did not look like it was, was working the way I thought. Okay. So we'll meet in the middle there. We'll meet in the middle. Whose ability to increase here? So it doesn't apply frost. The active there. Sure. I at this point, yeah, I guess I I will I will indeed. Did we have the ability to sell that? What? 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 It's taters precious? Oh, it's mother rat. Every six seconds, summon a stink rat and redirect attackers to it. Deal piercing damage to your target equal to your target's... What? Deal piercing damage to your target equal to your target's HP? What? So it just gets to insta-kill us? Am I understanding this correctly? If it gets up to full, it gets an insta-kill? Yep, I'm understanding that correctly. Oh god, that's terrifying. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no, he's targeting my healer. There's nothing I can do! Nothing I can do, dude! That's busted! That is busted! Could it at least do 90%? Could it do 99%, please? That that boss is stupid. What? 100%? We put should have put on the crown of the banshee. It should be 99%, so it's not an insta-kill, but literally any other damage would do it. That, like, that would make it so much better. Like, uh, have it just be that, make it so that it reduces the enemy's health to one. You know? Just like, because what? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. 
Oh well. The heroes here are loud commotion nearby. There is a bandit attacking a vagrant with the intent to kill. The vagrant is shouting incoherently and is near death. Approach. Stay out of this. These things have been appearing all over town. I'm doing everyone a service. Wait. The bandit lands a final blow as the vagrant is finished off. The town guard arrives with their weapons ban brandished. The bandit is cut down as he tries to get his footing. The guards lead the bodies. Not trouble with the bloody scene. They begin patrolling in your direction. Here, step out to query the guards. Without hesitation, the guards enter a full sprint as the heroes come into view. Oh. All right. Hello. Deal 100% damage and disarm your target. Are we? We didn't. We never grabbed that thing that was like made us immune to disarm. Um. All allies change the target to match yours. Sure, yeah. There's not much I can really like do here to change much. They're all single targets, so I think we just want to go with the um, the pure, direct heal here. God dang it, man! It's getting brutal! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gatlin gun, Gatlin gun, Gatlin gun, Gatlin gun! No! Okay, we got one down. That's huge for us. One being down is huge for us. I think we can actually... Uh, I think we can do this. I think we're I think we are unkillable. I think we are unkillable against these particular units. Active ability cost reduced by 3. Yeah, I mean it, it does not get lower than 10. Okay. Uh yikes. Immunity to burn. Increase your speed by 2% per second. What? I feel like we should not have had the Royal Arbalist on. I, I forgot that I had that on. I think that's going to be a a little bit of a whoopsie. Little bit of a whoopsie. Okay. Fingers crossed we are not hard countered by this boost. I do not remember if we... I can't... I don't know if we fought you. Your attacks strike twice, dealing additional 100% damage split among any enemies adjacent to your target. Apply Doom... Whoa, boy. Uh, to the enemy with the least HP. 60%, 80% of your max HP. Okay, we definitely need this on, or need, I think I want that on. Uh, you can't be stunned. Hmm. Can't be stunned. Do we want Symbiote? All right. I, you know, basically just going to be hoping that we uh, survive long enough to get our chain reaction going. Who's doomed? You're doomed in the back there. That's not good because we're not going to heal him. Yep. Of course. All right, so who's doomed? You're doomed. That's a shame because oh, we're good. Uh oh, that's not good. Please, 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 please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're totally okay. We've done it. Oh, oh, poor Frostmancer got wrecked there, but other than that, we're fine. While at or below 50% max HP, your active ability costs 50 less MP. Whoa. 50. Wow. Your tanks deal additional 30% damage to all enemies. Your there's the the leech there. That seems that seems crazy. We'll go for that. We'll pop ourselves. Uh, we'll pop our music back on, baby. Pop that music back on, baby. All right. Did we unlock a new character? I don't think we. I don't think we did. I didn't get an achievement for it. Okay. So what do we need? 
raw damage? What do we have? That's maybe a better better idea. Okay. We've got another we got a, another upgraded symbiote. We have ancient codex, but I'm probably going to put that on you. Maybe get rid of Ascension Cloak at this point. Let's just do that so we can process everything here. Uh, okay, so what do we have? We've got Ascension Cloak. I don't know that I'm going to use that. We have Royal Arbalist. Fair enough. Uh, it's looking kind of... Oh. Looking kind of weird. Blood Mage, Brawler, Dragos, Druid, Illusionist, Bard, Outlaw, Alchemist, Fiend. I can't wait, man. I just genuinely, I cannot wait. So, whose active ability is going to be really good for us? Is this a additional piercing in terms of back row? I feel like the Assassin might actually be pretty solid for us. Um, don't hate the idea of that. Let's get the assassin. Let's get the assassin, and we'll, we'll put, like, just raw high damage on them, I think. Elites always drop ancient items, double effects of potions, items from combat are uh, twice as likely to appear upgraded. We don't really have shields. So I guess we'll go with the twice as likely to be upgraded situation there. Okie dokie. Get that on. When you're knocked out, you'll continue to fight. Interesting. I think we... Uh, have two 50% chances to apply for us, and we'll also apply to the adjacent enemy. That's huge. Okay. We've just not had any passive orbs there. Uh, let's see. 300% attack damage. Sure. If you're gonna, if we're gonna be upgrading the hell out of your stuff there. Who wrecks healing? Anybody? Does, it, that might, it doesn't say. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be best there. So he's invisible, so he gets to kind of just be there. So that's pretty good. Dark enemies in the back row first. I would like to get this. Can't perform attacks. Remove random effect from all allies. Heal them for 5% of the max HP. Uh, I guess we could. It would just mean the Ronin also has to take damage. First time you reduce below 50% max HP, redirect any enemies targeting you to their next target and gain hidden. See, actually, that's pretty decent because we want to be attacking you. And then this way, yeah, you are attacking the back line there. All right. Gain 100 frail defense. Attackers take piercing damage. Increase your speed by 2%. Uh, Wow, wait. Move in an enemy directly behind them. Move all enemies hit. Away from their adjacent allies. I mean, this is going to be goofy. This is going to be very goofy. I just want to get that backline dead pronto. Ronin is going to die. Oh, well. No, the Ronin's going to die. And the cleric is. Oh, cleric is fine for a second. Cleric is still alive. Oh, my God. No! Oh, hell. Okay. Well, the good news is we can uh, we can bop this. Assassin is high, highest DPS. That makes sense because he lived the longest. So, when losing 20% of your max HP to a single hit, gain a shield equal to 5% of your max HP. Deal piercing damage to all enemies. I... Sure. 
sure. I didn't really like love that item on him. I, I don't. It's not bad. We maybe it'd be good too. I just I like having it as an option in case we know. Yeah, let's just put this here and figure it out. Know that he's going to die. Ah, same thing. I wish you were on the bottom. Okay, apply Doom to your target. Reduces their defense by 30 per 30. Ooh, and a remove all shield. That sucks. That's really annoying. Um, your allies gain 10% of the man mana expended by enemies. Yikes. Tax reduce your target's max HP by 25 and heal you. Oh my god, this is so rough. This is brutal. redirect all enemy healing effects to yourself okay so here's what we need to do we need that thing so dead so dead so dead um hmm shoot I think we're just gonna have to rock that and I think we're gonna cast that right now because we need it dead right now come on garrote 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 because as soon as oh it's not happening we heal too much um it's it's bad yeah no I, I knew we were destroyed by that your attacks deal additional damage equal to 6% of your current HP. Uh, Berserker, though? I don't know that we need this, you know? Okay, let's just go do another normal fight. We'll do it down here. Things have gotten grim for sure. All right. Once it's defeated, apply revenge. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. Slowly keep increasing your max HP. We're gonna, in theory, oh my God. We, oh my God. We are getting so destroyed. I think the lack of a true, oh my Jesus. What is happening? Guess the lack of a true tank. I don't even want to know what those are. I'm so sad. Uh, lack of a true tank is truly bodying us. Absolutely. What? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, your tanks apply ruin, frost, silence, or poison. Okay. Hmm. What the ever living hell do I do? Okay, how much does that sell for? 40, how much does that sell for? 25, you know what, get out of here. Get out of here. Do we, do we want a potion, maybe? Reduce the speed of all enemies, maybe. Enemies lose MP, all enemies are stunned. I feel like this is a good idea, more so due to the fact that, well actually we can get both. Due to the fact that it can be applied against bosses as well, is what I was gonna say. I don't think we can handle the elite, because quite frankly we can't handle anything. Clearly. Um. All right. Apply doom to your target. Reduce their defense. That just that just ruins us. Hmm. This is a problem. Thank you. 
this is a problem. He's, he's going to die, like, right away. But I just... I needed Doom to not be applied to him. It... Not good. Not good. Not good. Not... Oh, here comes Doom. Heal! Oh, no. Oh, no, my God. We are so wrecked by everything that these guys have to offer. Please keep stunning. Oh. My God. There's no way. There's no way. Oof. I feel like we can't go for the damage. We need a... We truly need a true tank. 6% of your current HP. Hello there. Your attacks reduce the cost of your active ability by 1. And you gain 10 attack for each burning on the enemy. Deal 100% burn... Or attack damage. Apply burn of the... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay, so... Also apply the burn to enemies adjacent to your target. I mean... Sure as heck sounds like a split it up into multiple groups category. Uh, but then he can't get healed by shotgun cleric or a uh, gallon gun cleric. This, see, yeah, that's our issue. Our issue is that our cleric really requires. Oh. My god. Oh, yeah, they needed to be split so bad. We just don't have we our our tanks ain't tanky. Our tanks ain't tanky. What are you going to do? You know? If your tank ain't tanky, I can't help you. Was that for a second? Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. All right. Well, Keep on rocking. What is your deal? Gain divine well hidden. Okay. Steal. Okay. To the enemy with the most MP. Steal 40% of their MP. It is annoying. But we, we, we need to rip through this guy first. Move enemies. Hit away from their adjacent. You know same sort of story this we kind of just have to rock it right here all right all right all right all right come on please live please live please live please live we need to stun him so that we can even have a chance to get healed up here there we go all right gallon gun gallon gun gallon gun gallon gun gallon gun come on man thank you we did it all all we needed was definitely 100 to stun Every two times you attack, apply either frost or a burn for 50% attack damage over 10 seconds. And plus 20% speed. I think we can... You and all adjacent allies gain 20 shield per second. You know what? That seems important. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have to go to the merchant. Otherwise, I have to fight the elite. Maybe we want to fight the elite. I'm not so sure, though. Let's, I just, let's get ourselves to an upgrade. Uh, it's, but, you know. Oh, but, you know. Okay, so 200 HP. Gain your shield with 20% of your max HP. Heal... You know what? I feel like that's going to be better for us. We really need him to uh, to live in. Oh. Do we just try? Sometimes these elite battles go on longer, so you're actually fine. T 
two additional adjacent enemies. Disarm your target or move them away from their adjacent allies. Well, everything's just going to get shuffled up anyways. Yeah, everything's just going to get shuffled up anyways. What do we have? Reduce the speed of all enemies. It's very tempting. Yeah, we just got moved down here regardless. Do it. Please move him again. Bring me my cleric! Wait, are we being healed? Wait, we're being we were being healed even when we weren't adjacent. Oh, here we go. Gatling gun. I know he can't be stunned, but Gatling gun. Okay, it's fine. We we've got this. We got that. Now, honestly, yeah, we lost some morale. We lost two morale, but I think it's an okay trade to get a bottled blizzard. All enemies gain three frost and have their attack reduced by 25% for uh, six seconds. That seems really good for us. Uh, upon being knocked out, deal 100 piercing damage to all enemies. Eh? Uh, attacks cause your target to bleed. We do it. There's a shop right there. Let's just, we'll just take that. Ability orb. Ability orb. This is the passive. The passive. Deal 41. We could double the damage we do every time. Or we can apply it to all adjacent enemies. Our frost. 350% chances. Let's do that. Poor Ronin's getting the absolute stick. All right, probably all heroes gain divine for 2.5 seconds, I think is going to be really important for us. Uh, and we're not going to be able to sell enough stuff to get up to 100 anyways. Oh. All right. We'll go to the event. Maybe we'll get money. We can go to the then the fight down south. This is bad. Healing Ward destroys us. Almost to the point where it's like, maybe we should. Not even try. And just focus all damage in. All I know is we're we're really hard countered by the healing ward. Absolutely hard countered. Can't heal anyways. It's bad. Does, do we need... Does it need to redirect literally all of the damage? I'm saving the Divine for a fight that I feel like might actually be able to do something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Frost Mage. It's on you. It's on you, buddy. There's just no chance, man. There's just no chance with this healing ward. A hundred percent redirection? A hundred percent? Is that on purpose? Oh, God, we're not going to do it. These guys destroyed us before. Take damage equal to 10% of any attack and actively damage you deal. Ah. So, it's pretty bad as well. You're attacking the back line first, huh? That's pretty rude. Oh, God. 
<laughs> what? How do we do this? This is so janky. If two units die, we lose. You're going to die, and you're going to die. So this actually gets you attacked less. Poses a unique opportunity to potentially use the Ancient Codex. Oops, not instead of that. Probably instead of that. Oh. Okay. Divine. Because we got it. Come on. Oh no! We're dead. God dang it! We were so close! We would have died in the next fight, but it doesn't matter. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. All right, that's all good. Let's see what happened here. Defeat the evil, 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 defeat the evil. To unlock, to learn how to unlock. To learn how to unlock, to learn how to unlock. All right, well, alas, I think that we need to beat the game to get the next upgrade, or to ne get the next unlock. And then after that, let's see, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see, but that's going to do it for today. This game is fantastic. I'm so enamored by it, like absolutely. Just 100% fixated on this game right now. Make sure to get it with the link at the top of the description. And hey, give the Discord of theirs some love as well. Go pick up this game. Let's go give this game the attention it deserves. Astronarch here. If you don't know who I am, my name is Retromation. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. So make sure to do a subscribe if you enjoy the genre. I put out videos on so many. So freaking many. But that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.